Well, yeah. No, not at all. Not it kind of reminds me of him. When, if you look real fast at the screen, if you do this, the TV, you go. <laughs> kind of looks like Sandler a little bit. You got a little little Urban Meyer, a little Sandler, too. Yeah, he does. All right, so Wisconsin, y'all not going to want to hear this. It's ridiculous. 17 starters back. Mm. Nine on offense, eight on defense. Hang on, let Jeff get his pencil. Jeff, get your pencil there. He thinks Day's on a short chain. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He may be, but I don't see He's got fire. his pencil now. Go back and start over there. <laughs> How many? 17 starters back on offense. I mean, back. Nine on offense, eight on defense. Guys, that, that's good. That's very good. That's All their line back. They've got two transfers coming in that are linemen that have started about 30 games between them. Okay. Hmm. 14 transfers led to Big Ten in transfers, including SMU quarterback Tanner Mordecai. Mordecai, yes. Who happened to only throw for 3,600 yards last year. It's okay, I guess. It's fire. (laughs) They've got Brandon Allen, 1,250 yards. So not only do they have a new coach who is considered fantastic, Matt, they've got their whole defense back pretty much. Leading tackler, leading interceptor. Leading rusher, leading receiver, and now they got this Mordecai guy in. They did not, their quarterback, their backup, Chase Wolf, left. Uh, but Mordecai came in. He's got 7,700 yards in his career. 14 transfers. How many of them help them out? Look at the depth they're going to have. And then when you hear the schedule, uh, you're going to really. Know how good they're going. All right, Jeff. Right, start putting L's and W's. Let's see how many Wisconsin. All right, has. Brandon Allen, 1,250 yards outside of Corum, and Ohio State's running back. They say he's the next best. And Corum ripped Penn State last year. Mm-hmm. Bad. He had like 300 yards on that that day. They had 400 yards of rushing. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Wow. All right, schedule. This is Wisconsin schedule with all these players back. Everybody we do is just fantastic on returning plays. Except for South Carolina. They wouldn't real. And Arkansas. Mm. Arkansas didn't have nobody coming mm. back. Uh, they start out with Buffalo. That's the Bills. No, I'm kidding. Buffalo University. Josh Allen? Josh. All w. right, I'm going to give them a win on that. W. All right. All right, then they go to Washington State, which I do think will mm. be a test. Mm. At Washington State? At Washington State, but I'm going to think we're going to find out how good the Badgers are right there, and I'm going to give them a W. Oh, man, I'm going to, okay. Well, that'd be a good game. That will be a good game, and that's early. Uh, that'd be a good, yeah, you don't want to lose that one. I Washington, mean, it's, a, it's an out-of-conference game, but you want to, But it's out there. But if you want to stay in the talk of us media people, <clears throat> you better not go out there and lose that game to Pac-12, because Penix and them, they got it pretty good. We're going to we'll do them, too, yeah. sometime. Yeah, that'll be a good game. Uh then they play Georgia Southern at home. W. I think that'll be a W. Now here, this is Matt. You talked me into this. I'm giving them an L for this. Uh-oh. They go to Purdue. Well, they ain't gonna be ranked number one. I'm gonna give Wisconsin. A okay, win. well, let's, I'll, I'll give them. <laughs> okay. If they were number one in the nation at the time, and Purdue's ranked in the top. Okay, all right. So I don't know much about. I'm gonna say they beat Purdue. I was just. But I think Purdue doing a little devil's advocate. They're on, right they're now. really on the bottom this year. Okay, Rutgers. I won't give them a win. Yeah. Iowa, who is supposed to be fantastic. Where's it at? It's at home though. <sighs> Guys, I got mm. whiskey at Iowa. Mm. No, no, it's at whiskey. Oh, whiskey at home versus Iowa. But if they win that, they're gonna be six and zero. Oh. Can they beat McNamara? That that's they can beat McNamara. And, I'm gonna pick them to lose to Iowa. And McNamara and Penix, you got them and you mm-hmm. and you notched on you, you, uh, your football laces there. Yeah, two good quarterbacks, right? Right, two good quarterbacks within three weeks of each other. Oof. All right, that's an L for who? Uh, uh, Iowa. We, we, I put an L for Wisconsin. That's one now. They're six and one. Yeah. I got them going to Illinois. That will not be an easy place to get out of with the defense. And that's going to be week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't put them with a win. So that'll be, um, let's see, August, September. That'll be be middle of October. That may be some weather. Yeah. And it's not friendly up there. Then they play Ohio State at home. Yeah, that's a loss. Okay. That's going to make them six and two. Then they go to Indiana. Win. Play. Beat them. At home against Northwestern, they're like, terrible. They're they're the they're very bad. Nebraska, at home. Well, I've got them beating Nebraska. Yeah, they. Ain't. 
And then I got them traveling to Minnesota. I don't know. Who knows what Coach Fleck and rowing the boat. They may be rowing the boat. So, I got I got them with three losses, man. I got them losing to Iowa, Ohio State, and Minnesota that last one. I got them going nine and three. But, I got that also, two. you got them ten and two. They'll lose to Iowa and Ohio State. But, but your, your catch game is Minnesota. My catch game is Minnesota. My catch game is Washington State. Do you think it could be? I think they could beat Minnesota. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Goats. Washington State? It's you Washington. Yeah, but Washington State's good. Oh, no, that's a win. I thought it was Washington with Penix. And <laughs> oh, no, it's, Washington It's not State. the Huskies. No, it's no, the Cougars. it's the Cougars. Yeah. No, where uh, Coach Leach was. Nine and three. Yeah. I got them losing to Iowa at home, losing to Ohio State at home, and dropping one to Minnesota. I'm sure. just being a realist. But, guys, look what they've got back. But And they've got a great coach. These two... <coughs> Hinge games. I'll call them hinge games. Which uh, Iowa and Ohio State. Where yeah. are they at? They're at. Well, I was at home. Both of them are at home. Oh, okay. Well, Guys, could Wisconsin go twelve and zero? No, that ain't no way. <laughs> if they do, I do got them going, even with a nine and three or ten and two record. I got them playing whoever wins the Ohio State Michigan game in the Big Ten championship. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I got them winning. I've got Wisconsin winning the, the West. The West, yes, one hundred. Even if they lose to Iowa in Minnesota, it does not going to matter. I think they're still going to have more wins than them in the and long they'll, run. They'll play presumably Ohio State rematch from week eight or nine. Whenever that's they play what them. I think is going to happen. I'm going on and predicting that now. Let's go on record. Wisconsin wins the the West Big Ten West, and we'll play Ohio State or Michigan. Whoever wins that, well, we got to say Ohio State because we done crowned them. Uh, Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship. Big Ten Championship. Yes. yes. Which will be the end of November. Yeah. First, First of week of December. Yeah. December. First no. Saturday. Yeah. Yes, because the Heisman Trophy's the next week. Yeah. yeah. We've got all this down. We've watched enough of it. We know that's how it goes every year. Rivalry week. Um, championship. Heisman. So then we got, got a, a break. We got a, a nine win at best. A nine nine win at worst. worst. Penn State. I got nine. And they're, but they're playing the West, man. They play in the East, dude. That's where the big. That's where the hard ones yeah, are. Yeah. So they're not going to go to the championship game. But they're going to have as good a record mm-hmm. as Wisconsin. But yep. if they go ten and two, uh, Wisconsin's got an easier path. They're kind of like Georgia. They got an easier. Path. But I don't know. Their schedule's not easier in Georgia. Dude, they got to play Iowa and Ohio State. Uh, Iowa and Ohio State and travel to Minnesota, Washington State. Georgia's got who? Auburn and and Illinois. Auburn and Tennessee. They got Auburn and Tennessee and Florida. I don't see Florida being them. But, but, and South Carolina, who you said didn't look very uh, good. Ter- they got, they're, they're moving receivers to running back trying to get. Yeah, so well, you don't think they're going to be nowhere near as good as they were. No. I ain't going to open a Pandora box and say, well, they're going to just stink. What if. What if what if you put Florida in this? What if they played uh, Florida here instead of Minnesota? Could it, what if Florida could they beat a lot of these teams? I would think so. Let's see this schedule with Florida. I think just, uh, just playing some devil before we get off here. I don't think I think it'd be about the same. Nine and three, eight and four, ten and two, maybe. New quarterback. And I don't think Florida is going to beat Ohio State or Iowa. To be honest with you. Uh, from what I'm hearing about Iowa, and we need to do them pretty soon because I just keep hearing how great and how good. Uh, yeah, I think Jeff. Florida could feasibly go 9-3 and three with this schedule. Hmm. But I also think Wisconsin's better than Florida. Does that make sense? Yeah. God, yeah, I would yes. agree with that. I think Wisconsin. Wisconsin better. could go 8-4, and 7-5, and five, depends on the Iowa game. Uh, McNamara uh, game Wisconsin they might win. I don't know. I don't. With all due respect, Jeff, and that, to do I mean that. I, I don't think there's any way that Wisconsin can go seven and five with the experience they've got. On the field. Uh, who was going to beat them? Well, it ain't Washington State. Can Washington State upset them? No, ain't no way. They're the bottom rung of the pack. Well, well, let's just say they did. That would be four losses, and let's just say Illinois gets them. I just That's don't see fight. that happening. So That's, you think Illinois and Washington State is going to beat them, Jeff? That's what you say. That would have to be who got them, more than likely. 
or Nebraska gets them at home, which we Brand did not. Brand new coach, so. Matt Rowe. I don't know about your quarterback play. They're still trying to build depth at Nebraska. 17 starters and a good quarterback and a great running back. Nine offensive players back. They're only missing two guys. And uh, oh, also- and they got two, two linemen transferred. That was two linemen they lost. And two transferred in to take their place. They're good. That's played. So they got eleven starters back on offense. That's played football last year. Not these ain't high school guys. These guys played football. So they essentially have eight guys back on everybody back. Nearly, literally. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I think they lost a receiver. If you don't count the linemen they lost, they. If you 